Zidane, you pig headed dolt. I don't know, he left without saying a word. We go look for Zidane together. Alright. Hey, Amaranth, did Zidane go this way? Yeah, seems so. He had a real serious face on. He knew something was wrong. Gonna go look for him, right? Huh? I'm trying to say I'll go with you. Catch my drift? I don't catch any drifts. What? Amaranth has so many things he still needs to learn! Why, Amaranth? Do you have, oh, the flash hat. Eye for an eye, I need that. Oh, I'm learning level up from that. Is there something here that'll give me uh, ability up then? Yes, there it is. Okay, so, Amaranth, I need you to equip, level up, and... That should be good. Forget what you were going to be wearing at the end. I think you're wearing a holy mitre. That's an easy one, right? Easy-ish. Okay, here we go. We're off to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of Garland. Do we have to fight her? Now you listen to me. Where'd you take Zidane? He went to on his own to see Garland. Garland? Ooh, that's a sinister name. But Zidane wouldn't just leave us hanging. He went, yes. He went to find out the reason for his existence. Liar! That's a terrible lie! I am an enemy of the people of Gaia, he said as he walked through the gate to Pandemonium. Gotta tell the others! Heaven grant the wandering souls eternal repose. Oh shit. So, this must be Garland's haunted mansion. Talk about bad taste in interior decorating. Alright, time to teach this tyrant a thing or two. So, we meet again! Whoops, my voice changed again! Who are you? Twelve years ago, I lost one of my most prized genomes. I created him and sent him to Gaia to disrupt the cycle of souls there. You are that genome. I am glad you have returned. Shut up. Nobody tells me what to do. And I didn't come here to answer to you. Let me guess, you must be Garland. And what if I am? Then you're going down, but first you're going to tell me everything. Like, why did I grow up on Gaia? And why do you want to destroy it? I have no intention of destroying Gaia. I only wish to make Gaia into Terra. What did you just say? Of course, not everything went as planned. You growing up on Gaia, for example. There is another one built as you were. 
He may be the one who threw a wrench into my gears. He? Who the heck are you talking about? Someone you know quite well. Follow me. The time when the aura of Gaia will turn to crimson has not yet come. It would be easier to follow you if you didn't keep teleporting. I may need your help anyway. Pandemonium. Stop. Now, tell me everything. I constructed the genomes to be vessels for the souls of the people of Terra when they awaken. But 24 years ago, I gave life to a genome that was very much like you. His will was too strong to make him into a proper vessel, and I even considered discarding him. But then, I thought that I should put his strength to use. I sent that genome as my servant to disrupt the cycle of souls on Gaia. Yeah, so tell me who he is already. Do you not know? You and he are so much alike. Alike? I've never met anyone like me. You judge only by appearances. I mean someone with a soul similar to yours. The one I sent to Gaia might also be called your brother. His name is Kuja. Kuja? He's a genome? Impossible, he doesn't even have a tail. He is only hiding it. He denies his own identity. He rejects the meaning of his existence and tries to assert his own individuality. Don't you see the resemblance? Shut up, I'm not like him at all. You can say that all you want. He said the same thing when speaking about the other genomes. I'm not like these guys. This place is weird. His ambition was becoming of a genome. Unbecoming. But it was perfect for the mission that I gave him. To bring war and chaos to Gaia. That's what I sent him to do. To induce an unnaturally chaotic flow. So then why? The disruption of the flow of souls is best brought about by war. And what he did for me far exceeded my greatest expectations. What about me? How did I end up on Gaia? When you received the gift of life in Bran Ball, Kuja could not bear it. He could not bear to see a genome with more power than his own. He felt threatened. Kuja discarded you, dropped you under Gaia, the world he would destroy. So I was to be your slave just like Kuja to start a war on Gaia? That is correct. <clears throat> Did not expect Kuja to abandon you, but I believed it was his nature. And to him, bringing war to Gaia would prove his victory over you. Perhaps it is because of his desire to justify his existence that he left you live as well. So that's why the blood of thousands had to be spilled? Are you referring to Kuja's ambition? Or to our plan to disrupt the cycle of souls? Both. And what exactly do you gain by disrupting that cycle of souls or whatever? We must sort the souls. I want to disrupt Gaia's cycle and drain its souls, filling the void with the souls of Terra. To speed the cycle of souls is to speed the work as a whole, thus war. And in time, Gaia's souls are gone, and Gaia becomes Terra. But how? You saw it with your own eyes. You saw the Aoife tree and the mist it emits. The role of the Aoife tree is that of the soul divider. The mist you see compromises the stagnant souls of Gaia. Oh yeah? But we stopped the mist, so much for that. All you saw was the back of the tree. Even now, the Aoife tree blocks the flow of Gaia's souls, while it lets those of Terra flow freely. Come and see for yourself. See the true form of your planet.
What is this? Think of it as an observatory. A place of measure the radiance of Gaia and Terra. What are you talking about? What is this weird light? That is the center of the planet. The end and the beginning of the cycle of souls. The light remains Gaia's for now. But when the blue changes to crimson, all will belong to Terra. That is why I wrapped up the light in the Aoife tree to prevent the cycle of the judgment of souls on Gaia from inside the planet. Such is the Aoife tree's true purpose, its true form. All you saw was its material form. The flow of Gaia's souls cannot be changed simply by stopping the disposable. Disposable? So Kuja is the angel of death who sends souls to the tree of Aoife. Yes, my angel of death. But only until you came of age. What do you mean? His soul is not internal. I was going to create you next, after all. You mean you won't need Kuja's soul once I grow stronger than him? Precisely. Soon that time will come. <laughs> well, now you should be fully aware of your meaning of your existence. Yes, I'm aware of all the laughter, all the tears I've shared with the people I grew up with on Gaia. Forget all that. You are destined to live among the stars for all eternity. You have the power, the position, and the motive to do it. I wouldn't want that kind of power if I only had a place to call home. My brothers in Tantalus, Viva, Viva. Viva Las Vegas. Vivi, Freya, Amaranth, Queena, Steiner, Eco, and Dagger. My home is with them in Gaia. If you say I have a motive, then it's to punish all of you who brought pain to my friends. I'll destroy Terra. That's reason enough for the, my birth here as a genome. Regrettable. I thought your soul would be perfect for a new angel of death. I am the new angel of death. Yours. Ha! Don't you know what it means to meet your maker? Shut up. I've heard enough of your crap. I'm taking you out now. Foolishness. The body becomes a vessel which greets a new soul. What's happening? Shit. He's too good to make into a regular genome, but I have no choice. Uh. Oh, it's Kuja. I can't believe I actually returned to this place, but soon, soon the power will be all mine alone. <laughs> Just you wait, Garland, did you too, Zidane? I'll exact sweet revenge upon you both for insulting me. I'll make the people of both Gaia and Terra know who rules over all. <laughs> This damn ship's back. What do you want from me? Go away! <laughs> uh, who am I? I don't know anything. I can't think at all. Zidane! Yeah, I was called that once. Many people called me that. You always have to show off, don't you? Yeah, maybe I do. Why, you worthless mendicant! Yep, sounds about right. How very becoming of you. Becoming of me? I really learned a lot by traveling with you, Zidane. Yeah, right. I have nothing to teach. You teach me many things, more important than tasty munchies. 
No, I don't know anything. You call that friendship? Friendship. Friendship? Zidane! I don't know who I am. You were always there for me, Zidane. I'm so tired. How come you're always so... I... I am an empty vessel. Dane! Who? Wake up, Zidane! Who? Come on, Zidane, wake up! Ow! Zidane! Vivi? Eco? Thank goodness you're alive! We thought you were dead! Oh, I... We were so worried! Why did you come here all by yourself? What are you doing here? Huh? We came to save you, of course! And it wasn't easy! You went off all alone! Leave me alone. Huh? This has nothing to do with you. Oh, come on! Stop blimping away. Here he goes, being the tough guy. Look, Zidane, it's not just about you. Come on, Zidane, don't be like that. Let's... Shut up! Shut up, you stupid brat! Zidane! Zidane? Zidane, wait up! You need rest, Zidane. You little twits, just shut up. There's some things kids just can't understand. Slipper? No. Amduzius. Okay then. I think the point of this is to... Looks like you need some help. I remember this. The point of this is to get him to remember. Or to get him to trance. I don't actually remember. But he just tranced, so if that's the case, we did it. We did it! Horn me all you want. Ow, oh, for... Can't you even take care of yourself? Wait, it's back? Hey, join just in time to learn Chakra and get three levels? Holy crap. How foolish of you to go alone. Damn hypocrite. Always talking about friendship when you're nothing but a selfish loner. I can take care of myself. Come back, Zidane. Dane, you damn fool. Ah, yeah. I will not be defeated so easily. Now I'm mad. I cook you good. Steiner, Queena, what are you doing? How about the case this? We're inadvertently going long today. 
What the hell is that? Where's the frog drop at? The Abaddon! Oh shit. Don't kill me, bro. High wind. Crap! You guys... You're late today! Oh, shit. He's gonna kill them both. Quickly! You, prick. Oh, don't you freaking hit the entire party again. Okay, good. Be healed. Ha ha, you missed. And it's down. What an unworthy opponent. Dane, you know can leave us. I still want you to take me places that have lots of good food. And I have not yet concluded whether or not you are right man for her highness, mind you. Just leave me alone. I don't want to trouble you anymore. And in the last room is Dagger. Let the dagger fall. We're all a bunch of babysitting bastards. Trust me, I know that I'm the worst bastard here. Just let me die! That's what it feels like. Feels like he's trying to kill himself. Ew! Rouse! Earth shake! Wait well, everybody, I got Wow, that was weak. Weak. How many turns before dagger comes? Yeah, see that did more damage. Do that again. Counter attack. And my own attack. Uh oh, I'm doing less damage each turn. Counter attack! That's why I like the counter. Smash? Oh shit. Oh, this is her, curing me. Dagger! If this is how you want to- is this how you want to solve the problem? Bahamut inbound! Bye. 
Mega Flare! Miss, how'd you move that fast? Shit, you can charge both of us? Let's try a little Leviathan action. And did about the same. But I guess it is like a third of the amount of damage. Uh, MP. Oh crap. What are you barking at? Your petty earth shake shall do nothing! Except maybe cause me to trance? It didn't cause dagger to, but it did cause the dane to. Grand lethal! She's tranced. <sighs> That's a good picture, though. The two of them in trance state at the end of combat. Beautiful is beautiful thing. Dagger. You try to do everything by yourself, don't you? Try to understand. I don't want to cause it trouble to anyone. Aren't we your friends? I want to think so. That's why I always... Look, I'm not from Gaia. I was just a hair breadth from becoming the destroyer of Alexandria. I can't accept your friendship, friendship so easily. You've always protected us, but you still don't understand that we looked out for you, too. We watched your back while you watched ours, and we believed in you the same way you believed in us, just like you protected us. We want to protect you. Dagger. You say it. My master tell me somebody give you tasties, you give them tasties, too. It's good manners. I still not cook you succulent frog yet, Zidane. Queena. Chivalry requires a knight to look after his comrades in arms. I will not abandon you. And I shall follow you to kingdom come if I must. You remember that. Steiner. Ha! <laughs> what am I gonna do with you guys? The feeling is mutual. All right, let's go. Wait, where are the four others? You don't think they've been trapped? It possible. You should not have left them. That's right. I mean, really. Aw. I'm sorry. Let's head back. Together this time. Zidane! Zidane, why did you leave us? I'm sorry. You were right. I need everyone's help. Don't leave us again, okay? Never. So you've had a change of heart? What a busy guy, coming and going all the time. Yeah, but not anymore. We have to stop Garland. Oh yeah, that's right. A Moogle followed me all the way from Baron Ball. Just tell me if you need to rest. Alright, now we can work our way out of this depressing castle. Because we're all together now.
Nice. Now we should learn a bunch of things. Yeah, we did. And we leveled up a bunch. Okay. I'm assuming it was this bridge. 